All right, today's video, this first little video of today is uh, going to be Pat Queen and some of the uh, the good plays he made versus the Browns, and he's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, he, he's coming. He's starting to figure it out. Hey, welcome back. And really... <laughs> This guy has begun to play better and better and better. Let's dig right into two quick plays from uh, Pat Queen. Um, let's see if I can highlight him. It's Queen right here. So let's let it run through now that we know where he is. See something? Times it up fine. Just blows up everything. And I was on with um, Michael Crawford, Abby Curry, I think it's his Twitter handle. And we were talking about Queen Just Go. Even if he's wrong sometimes, just go. And this is one of them cases where I'm not sure if he's wrong, but he just went and he blew the play up. A uh, guy I work for, he liked to use block destruction a lot. And that is the epitome of what this is. The go this guy tries to block him. He split he beats him with speed. Alright, this this guy tries to wham him. He's cause he's in the backfield so fast that he can't do anything with him. So now he's beat two people. And now he's right on the ball carrier right now. As soon as the ball carrier gets the ball, he's right there in his face. Now, this can't happen every play. This is an anomaly. But he timed it up perfect. Beat two blocks. Got a huge tackle for loss to kind of set the tone for the defense for the rest of the game. This was a tone setter because this happened early, early, early in the game. And that set a tone for the defense for the rest of the game right there. And that's the type of plays he can make. I'd say he's going to make four or five or six of these a game. But one, maybe two of these a game right here like this. That's some high caliber football right there. I don't know what, I don't know what gave it away, but this is the second week in a row that some kind something has given the play away to him, and he just went. It was a toss maybe the week before versus the Bears that he went and got, and then this play right here he just went and blew it up before it even really got started. Pat Queen's getting better and better, and like I told you guys earlier in the season, just relax, man. This kid's gonna be all right. He's gonna be all right. Twenty two years old. He's gonna be all right. Let him figure it out. I don't know if we really had time, patience to figure it out because we want championships every year, which, and that's a high standard to, to, to keep, which, and it should be the standard. Championships every year should be your standard. But um, he coming. He coming. He coming. All right, back with another play from Pat Queen. Um, let's get him highlighted first, right here. Let's roll it. I to get a little motion so now he's switching. So now he kind of bumps over to the, the strong side. Patrick comes weak side. Chuck drop back. And I don't know who this is. Maybe maybe this is Stone or Stevens to drop down. So now good run read. You're getting full run run read. You're in your gap. But now, the intelligence part, the part that he's watching film more and seeing stuff, even though there is not a handoff, he finds this guy. Crossing the formation. Look at him. He stopped right now. Sees that guy crossing the formation. Eyes still deep. And now he can see the balls out. But because he stopped and didn't flow too fast over here, he's right on top of this dude. Right on top of him. So when he exit, exit, exits the formation, especially after going underneath Bowser, Queen right on top of him. Right on top of him. So, yeah, they complete it. And then he don't miss the tackle. Which was a, was a big problem early in the year. Because he made plays similar to this early in the year. But then he would miss the tackle here. Right here, that's perfection. That's perfection in form. But the only, the only thing that stops is right here, he's in good form right here. He just need to keep driving his feet. Keep driving his feet. His feet kind of go dead right there. And now he's just in roll mode. Keep driving his feet through that guy. And the Hooper's a, Hooper's a bigger guy than him. So that could have been the reason why he didn't just go through him like he wanted to. But just keep driving the feet. And the good thing is, he, did, he didn't he did miss the tackle. He did not miss the tackle. Let's watch it from the backside. I'm telling you, you're starting to see more and more good plays like this from this kid every game. More and more. So there's Stevens drop down. Um... Uh, Chuck drops back 
and they switch positions. And so this is a strong side because you got your two old linemen, tight end, another tight end. What we consider him the H back. And on his back side, you just got your two old linemen. So really, he's the he's the weak side guy. He's being the strong side guy. Uh, Stevens is dropping down to help in the box, help with the run fit. That change of direction. That's where that change of direction come in. Can I see run? Oh, I see I see a guy coming across the formation. And look, he's in great position. He can see all three of these guys from right here. So right now he knows he don't have the ball because this is a shitty fake. The fake helped him out. Now he got this now using the speed. Using the speed, use that athleticism. Head across. Tried he tried to grab cloth. He didn't. But he tried to grab cloth, missed grabbing the cloth, grabbed the leg and rolled. I love it. Love it. Keep playing, buddy. Keep playing. Just relax. Relax, fans. Keep playing. Just keep playing.